In November of 2014, I was spending a day with the provider in the field, um, and it was, it was cold, and it was snowing, and I was upstate New York, and it was, it was a day where everything went wrong for this provider. I asked the provider, I was like, that was a really tough day. I mean, that was, that was a tough day. Uh, and she said that that was one of her worst days at Landmark, but that her worst day at Landmark was better than her best day at her prior job. And I was like, huh, <laughs> I think we've got something special here because if that's true, then we're doing something right. The problem that we sought out to fix when we started Landmark, um, a lot of what it was driven by was my own personal experience. Um, and I find the best companies are started um, by personal experience. The problem that we saw was that our healthcare system was fundamentally broken, particularly for those people that are chronically ill, uh, have multiple comorbidities, difficulty getting to the doctor. If you look at patients who are really sick and you look at patients who are healthier, What's interesting is that both those groups use primary care at the same rate. You would think sicker patients go to see their doctor more often, but that was actually not the case. And when we looked at why, it was because they were often homebound. Our solution to that was to bring the systems, the teams, the procedures, all the patients where they're at 24-7. I think the biggest challenge that we had when we were getting started is people just didn't know what Landmark was. Would the model work? Uh, or are you just providing care that's high quality, but it doesn't change the cost profile at all? What we were doing was so hard to do clinically, operationally. It involved culture, it involved um, analytics, it involved an EMR. And I was just worried about our ability to knit it all together and make it work. Clinicians wants to just do this, just take care of patients, you know, do the right thing. They don't want to sit in the system and computer and type in what they did, document everything they did. If I can make a difference in the way they use technology and make it successful where they're happy about using technology, you know, that would be a huge game changer. It's scary because you just have this great idea and there are a lot of people with great ideas that never get to build a, build a great company. But, you know, we were very persistent, and I think it's a testament to all of, the, all of the hard work of everyone to be able to get that first contract, to be able to then really show what we can do with, with our model and just how we can impact patient care. We started this in October 2014. We saw our first patient, and within a week or two weeks, we got our first letters. It spoke about how we totally changed her life. When you go through a lot of trouble to get to a place, and eat, you change a person's life, that's enough, right? Uh, just one life to change is so significant. That's when the magnitude of what we had done hit me early on. Not only are we transforming healthcare, we're really touching not only the lives of our patients, but of their loved ones, their caregivers, and really the community at large. At the beginning, it was a few of us um, and the surprising part of the business is how it shifted not to be about a few of us, but about all of us, and how far the business and the company and the clinical model goes without me at all, uh, but because of all of us and what we do and how we drive it forward ourselves. Way back when we started, uh, the company was that we really wanted to make sure that this was a great place to work. I always knew the work that we were going to be doing was meaningful, but I think what's been surprising to me is the depth of the relationships that we've all formed. If you have happy employees, you have happy patients. I think we have a great culture. Um, and if we have a great culture, that means we have great people. We all want to make this work. We all want to take care of our patients. We all have the same intention. We really have grown um, to, to really be a close group. I hope that the closeness that we have as a founding team helped to develop that foundation for Landmark and for all of us to come together to work towards that mission, vision, and values that we all share. Everything in life isn't work. Um, but it's also about being with people you care and you like and supporting them in their broader lives and then they work harder for that. And so I think that's some of probably how we started the culture um, for this business, um, which was how do we focus on accountability? I trust them. I know they trust me. Um, it's why we trust folks in the business broadly. And how do we do what we do with mission? So there's meaning, but also give people flexibility and believe in them. And, and I think that started with us as a core group.
is a little surprising that just in three and a half years since we signed our first contract, we're at where we're at today. I truly do believe that this is what is going to heal healthcare in our country. My biggest hope for Landmark is that it actually becomes the standard of care for the sickest and frailest patients. That if you're a sick and frail patient anywhere in this country, that you know people expect to receive care that's provided at Landmark. I appreciate our team uh, and how much they should be proud of choosing to do things differently too. Um, this is our business. Landmark is really all of you. I really view my role as being behind the scenes. You are all the ones who are doing the hard work every day with the Joes and the Josephines. Regardless of when you joined Landmark, you have made an imprint on the culture because when a company is this young in its life, Every new person that joins the team makes an impact, whether they like it or not. I think we built a special company and a special business, um, and I think it's because each one of us believes that what we do is right. I'd like to see Landmark or a model like Landmark take care of every frail patient. It shouldn't be delivered in a one-size-fits-all fashion, and I'd like to see that percolate throughout the country.